from roofs to roads, a successful partnership. To expand efforts in recycling roof shingles, this strong coalition of public, private, and nonprofit partners worked for many years to research, test, and evaluate the concept of using old tear-off roof shingles in new asphalt pavement. At the beginning of the project, an engineering rule known as a permissive specification from the Minnesota Department of Transportation existed only for manufactured shingle scrap. With more than 150,000 tons of old roof shingles disposed of in landfills each year, the need to expand shingle recycling in Minnesota was evident. In 2010, a permissive specification for tear-off shingles was created. As a result, a quality product is now being created from material formerly thrown into a landfill. Each partner played an important role. The Minnesota Asphalt Paving Association brought the interests of the paving industry and was essential in educating elected officials. The association was also essential in providing best practices and standards from around the country and for rallying support from engineers and hot mix asphalt producers. Richard Wolters describes the product's growing acceptance. Shingles, uh, hot mix is also known as blacktop and it's been in a developing technology for almost two decades. Uh, with growing acceptance by construction uh, contractors, government agencies, shingle manufacturers, and uh, a number of also solid waste environmental groups. Shakopee-based DEMCON was instrumental in the partnership by demonstrating financial and corporate commitment to recycling in the face of increased testing and regulatory requirements. DEMCON also hosted demonstrations on processing shingles. Commercial asphalt provided critical educational opportunities for engineers, policymakers, and others by demonstrating how to manufacture hot mix asphalt with tear off shingle scrap. In addition, commercial asphalt provided asphalt to several of the research sites evaluated prior to the adoption of the permissive specification. The Solid Waste Management Coordinating Board provided roadway testing sites. The public works and environmental departments in these six counties worked together with the Minnesota Department of Transportation to determine site selection and mix formulas. Additionally, the Solid Waste Management Coordinating Board worked with county engineers to bid projects with shall use tear off shingles provisions for recycled materials. Ramsey County Commissioner Victoria Reinhardt speaks to the benefits of the project for all involved. Well, obviously when you have something um, like the asphalt shingles, being able to turn those uh, shingles back into asphalt, to be able to use it on county roads, um, on trails, and really the cooperation that took place between the uh, contractors, uh, the asphalt uh, makers, manufacturers, and the counties to be able to test this out with MnDOT. Um, all of the partners came together so that it was a win-win for the environment, uh, for the taxpayers. The process starts as old roofs are torn off and new roofs are put on. The old shingles are taken to DEMCON, where contaminants and nails are removed. Then the shingles are ground up, tested, and shipped to commercial asphalt for placement in the manufacturing of hot mix asphalt. Using precise engineering principles, we can formulate hot mix asphalt material blends that incorporate recycled shingles to produce asphalt pavements that are as good or better than those not containing the recycled material. Finally, the asphalt is used on new roads in Minnesota. The cost of virgin materials for pavement continues to rise. Because roofing shingles contain a valuable resource, oil, Minnesota manufacturers are able to reduce the amount of virgin oil used in hot mix asphalt by 32,000 tons per year. Prior to this collaborative effort, more than 150,000 tons of tear-off shingles were disposed of in landfills every year. DEMCON has successfully captured 20% of all available shingles within the state of Minnesota and has recycled more than 30,000 tons. Shingle recycling is new not only to Minnesota, it is also a new concept throughout the United States. Many states allow the use of manufactured shingle scrap in roadways, 
but only a few states currently allow tear-off shingles to be recycled into pavement. Minnesota's extensive research, testing, and evaluation will serve as a model for other states.